I want to talk a little bit about the ongoing great resonation and how what we could do to uh, to make people satisfied at their work because a lot of times when the idea of the resonation comes up people like to talk about what kind of workplace conditions they like but I think it's really simple I think the best workplace accommodation is to recognize that most people know how to accommodate themselves a lot better than an employer would know how to re how to accommodate right let me talk about a job that I resigned from this was before the great resignation before even the pandemic I was working at a tutoring center my manager is also Asian and he, he almost thinks of himself as almost a father figure to me whether for good or for bad he, he thinks he knows what I want more than I know what I want sometimes I had a client from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. I want to say I don't remember the exact details and the night before that I had traveled to Ellensburg to view something I do stargazing in Ellensburg and I had driven back to Bellevue where the tutoring center was and I got there at 1.30 thinking that okay I, I need to stretch myself I spent two days on the road and I'm gonna sit down and tutor this guy for two three hours maybe I should stretch myself a little bit I get to this counter where I can stand and put my computer down to check my email my manager comes by we say hello he says I can take a seat I ignore him because I really needed to get some exercise. It had been two days that I've been out there and now I got to do tutoring. And I think I had another assignment after this kid. Uh, I'm a professor. And uh, at first I ignored him, but he, he became almost demanding, like you could take a seat. And I took a seat, but I, uh, I had another job lined up and I very abruptly quit that one job, I want to say. I'm pleased that I quit it because I, it was not going very well. It, that wasn't the only time he behaved in such a manner. So what is my point here? My point is that people know how to accommodate themselves, right? They all this talk about family-oriented workplaces. And well, let's see what they're hiring for. What? Well, they're, they're not talking about all sorts of benefits. They're family-oriented workplaces. We talk about um, this one job that I applied to. They give you a certain amount of hours to do volunteer uh, community service around the, the, the city and um, but that's that, that, that those are great things don't get me wrong but those aren't everybody's life goals right they could be a majority of people's life goals but they're not everybody's right um, yesterday I was reading my Facebook feed and somebody had posted a uh, it was a joke probably but about picky eaters. How many of these foods do you dislike and how picky you are? I gotta point something out. Not everybody who says no to a specific food is a picky eater. Some people have medical conditions. They don't wanna tell you that they have these medical conditions. It, it, it just, they don't wanna eat whatever they wanna eat, right? Whether it be a preference, a medical issue, a religious issue, why, why does that matter, right? Um, are there people who hurt themselves with what they eat? Yes, of course there are, right? But short of that, people have preferences. And I think most people know what they want to eat a lot better than you know what they want to eat, especially if you're not even a professional in that, right? Anyway, the, the, the answer is that most people know how to accommodate themselves. We just need to give an environment for people to do it. It's that simple.